it's Zena, we're her princess, and welcome to another Vera Bradley haul. This one comes from two different orders. One was from the recent online outlet sale, and one was from the recent um, uh, up to 50% off sale. And December was my birthday month, so I used that coupon on top. So I got some really great deals on all of these items um, all across the board. But this first group of items is from the online outlet sale. The first thing is I got a lanyard. This is the regular lanyard in rose quartz. If you're not familiar, this is like a woven strap and it has the silver threads in there. It's kind of a, a chevron weave. I don't know if you're going to appreciate that in the, the video there, but you can kind of see it. And it's um, both sides, so it's not like you get a sloppy sewing side and a good side. It's two good sides, which is what I like about that. I did take this... Um, version of the wide lanyard on my trip and I did like it but the wide lanyard um, I didn't like as much so I'm gonna try this next time in the rotation of lanyards that I take cruising and we shall see um, this is a small anchor patch it's just a red white and blue patch and it came out with sure thing it's been in my cart so many times over the last couple years and I just keep not getting it but it was such a great deal I thought well a couple bucks I'll get a patch and I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, um, but with all the cruising and the patriotic stuff, I'm sure I'll find something. And the next item I got is this factory style ballpoint pen. These are twists to operate. This is Toucan Party with the pineapples and the toucans and fun navy background. I got five of them because they were a good price. And I try to keep a stock of pens on hand. One, because I love the pens, of course. I don't need a whole bunch of the same pattern, though. Um, I keep them as gifts, just in case gifts, like you forgot a birthday or something pops up and you just want to give something to someone. And also, whenever I go to the hospital, I use them as nurses' gifts. That's a longer story. Won't go into it, but um, I'll see if I can find a video here that kind of talks about it. But that way you can say thanks to a nurse on the spot. And, and nurses love pens. Not to put down nurses, they love a lot of things, but... Um, it's something I can give to them that I know will be appreciated. All right, anyway, the last item from the online outlet sale is the travel blanket. Or, I'm sorry, not travel blanket. It's a travel scarf, um, but it's like a blanket. This is in Bloom's Shower. It's like that muslin, sort of like that receiving blanket, sort of baby blanket material. This is an uncharacteristic material for Vera. Um, it's definitely not one of their typical ones, but I'm really loving this particular piece because look at it, look how wide it is and look how long it is. So uh, this is why I said blanket came to mind. I actually bought it to use as a travel scarf blanket. And I just had one that actually um, was the blanket scarf in the ribbons plaid. And that one was soft and, and cozy. This one is lighter, but warm. It's, it's a couple layers thick, but it's very lightweight. It's definitely something that will keep you warm on a plane or a train or whatever. It's thin enough. I, I mean, it's, it says scarf, honestly. This to me is way too big to be a scarf. I mean, just, I suppose if it's really, really cold, but I'd be using a different kind of scarf. Um, I, I really don't know. I mean, to me, this is straight up a travel blanket, not a scarf at all because it's, it's too big and bulky to be a scarf to me for, for any kind of lightweight travel. But I love it, and I bought it. Um, it's actually bigger than I thought it was going to be. I knew it was going to be big, but um, I love it for what it is, but I am not going to be wearing it as a scarf. I might take it as a travel blanket that I just scarf as I go onto and off the plane, perhaps. Um, yeah, we'll see. But I do like it a lot. It's a great lightweight blanket. And of course, I love the colors with the purples and blues on there. That's awesome. Okay, and that's it from the online outlet sale. So let's move on to the retail side haul. This again comes from the recent sale that was up to 50% off. It was their, I want to say semi-annual sale, but also December was my birth month. So I added that coupon in and got some really good deals. The first item is the Ariel sunglasses, like Ariel, um, the Little Mermaid Ariel. But this is in Hanging Around. So let's take this out. Hanging Around with Leaves is the sloth pattern in the teals and blues with the purple and pink. And on here, let's see. I'm not seeing any sloth. It's just the florals. But 
I think that's why it's hanging around leaves, not just hanging around. Now look at the beautiful colors with the purples and teals and, and whatnot. Um, they are a little bit wide set, actually, and the last few sunglasses have been that way, and I don't have a big head, but I don't have a little head, but these are very loose on me, almost too loose. Yeah, so I'm not sure I like that. Uh, thankfully, I have a lot of sunglasses already. I'm not sure. It almost looks like it's bent out. Um, yeah, so maybe I can put a wedge in there to space it, because that would fit great. Anyways, we'll see. But for the moment, they are too big. That's unusual, but it's becoming a problem. This next item, this is the reusable straw set in Spring 21 medley. This is, um, looks like iCat Island Rainforest Canopy and uh, Hummingbird Park. That's what it looks like. These are acrylic straws, and it does come with a brush and a little... Ziploc carrying case, if you will. I got these because I'm gonna put them in my cruise bag. Oh my gosh, if I could get them out. Um, because on the cruise, they use paper straws on the ship, which, okay, fine. Save the whales, save the turtles, whatever, whatever. But those straws don't even get through a full drink. Like if I wanna sit and drink a slushy drink. I'm not gonna drink it super fast because it's frozen. And I'm not gonna sit around and dawdle with it. I'm gonna drink it at a reasonable pace pretty quickly, honestly. But still those straws like become ineffective halfway through the drink. It's terrible. So a useless straw is as good as no straw, honestly. So I decided I would bring my own reusable straws on the next trip. And that way I can drink my drink at my own pace and still have a good straw at the end of it. It's kind of important. Uh, anyways, so these are three lovely patterns and the brush that, to clean it. So I'll just take that with me and clean it as I need to um, along the way. Like each evening, you know, I rotate the straws and whatnot, so. Okay, I was way more talking about that than I meant to do right now. <laughs> All right, straws, straws are good. Um, and then I got a ballpoint pen in that iCat Island, or eCat Island, I think it's supposed to be said. I'm stuck on the wrong pronunciation. I got some more pajamas. I have been on a pajama kick. It is this time of year when Vera does put out a lot of different versions of pajamas. They've had some really cute ones. In fact, I might have just ordered, no, I didn't, no. I was gonna say some peanuts ones were on sale, but I, I didn't order them. I put them in my cart, but I don't think I hit send. <laughs> All right, so this one is the pajama set in Nordic Stripe Multi. Um, it does come as a set top and bottom, which is uncommon for Vera. Usually you have to buy them as separates. But I like that they came out together because they very definitely go together. But it's just a, a knit t-shirt, you know, regular t-shirt with holiday print and I like that it's seasonal but not necessarily just Christmas so it's kind of like winter pajamas which I, I like I did get a very large size I got the big big ones because I wanted to be sure they wouldn't be too small and there's the pants so it's a, a nice fun combo I like I like it I like it with the black shirt and the colorful stuff on it and then the pants are just straight leg kind of like a, a just lounge pants really, they're not cuffed or anything. They have a nice elastic waistband and a drawstring, which I do always love because I tend to buy my pajamas too big because I like them to be loose and flowy um, because otherwise they get, I get hot, <laughs> anyways. But I like to be able to tie it up at the waist because sometimes I buy them too big and the elastic is ineffective. Um, but they does have pockets as well, so pockets on both sides, which is nice. And they're good size pockets, so I can wear them for the day if I want and carry my phone around. <laughs> All right, on the same subject, here's some more pajama pants. They are the same cut, but not the same style because they have a different waistband. This is a, a nice knit waistband and it does have a drawstring, same as the other. And then it is a straight leg. But this is the jacquard one. So it's 
navy and white. It's very soft and cozy, which I love. And Nordic Forest Stripe is the name of it. So there you go. And it is, it's just trees, snowflakes, trees, snowflakes. Again, very seasonal, not just holidays, which I love. And they do have pockets as well. So pretty much the same as the other ones, except they're soft and fluffy and cozy. And I like to matchy-matchy now and then, and I also always keep blankets as holiday gifts. So I'm not sure if this will end up being mine or passing it along, or if it's gonna be a trailer, or I'm not sure. But right now, this is the matching blanket. It is the cozy style, so it does have that um, Sherpa side, and it has the regular side. It's very nice. It is soft and cozy, and you can see how thick it is. It's not super thick like an individual layer, but the jacquard style does make it a little bit fluffier. And I'll, I'll leave this here for just a moment to show you, for example. This is the, the blanket that matches the first set of pajamas, the Nordic Stripe Multi. It too is very soft. Obviously it's a different soft. This is like the normal plush throws on the outside and then the cozy Sherpa on the inside. And this one feels actually, it feels much thinner. Um, they're both kind of thin when you get right down to it, which is what makes them big. They're cozy and soft, but not hot. It's, it's really kind of cool. But anyways, this is the regular one, if you will. And this one is the jacquard. You can see that, I mean, they're both squishy and fluffy, but you can see this one is thicker overall. Now, this one is 72 by 50. And so is this. So. It's not that they're a different size and there's more blanket to go. It's just uh, fluffier. I mean, they both can mush down pretty well, but yeah. So that's some differences. I do like to share those little tidbits as well. Um, so I got two pairs of matching pajamas and blankets. And then the last blanket I got, <laughs> I do not need blankets, but I do like to have gifts on hand. This one is 72 by 55. It's the faux down throw in Nordic stripe red. Um, this one is a little different. I do have one other blanket that is this style. Uh, not, by, not by name actually, but um, the one I have is a cozy throw, but it has a cotton backing instead of the plush throw backing, like the one we just saw. This one is cotton backed and it does have a cozy side to it, but it's not Sherpa. It's like, um, kind of like the fleece side there. And so I'm not really sure where it gets to the faux down because it's just like a quilted, it's, it's no more quilting than a handbag, honestly. It's just it's that soft layer and then the cotton layer. So there's not like a bunch of down in there. So I'm not sure why they went with that particular name of it because it's too, you know, like I think down comforter has got like a fluff to it, a, a thickness to it. This is quite, it's a quilt versus a, you know. But looking at it, you can see on the pictures online and I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see it as well here. But you see the large diamond quilting. See those big diamond right here. So that does go through both sides. Perhaps you can see it better on the red side, although I don't, it's hard to see because of the design on there, but there's like a cross where the diamond comes in. Anyways, those large diamonds are throughout the quilt and it is very soft on that side. I got this to put in my trailer and um, even though it's like a winter theme, you know, it has snowflakes with ski poles and um, deer and whatnot, kind of like the other one. I just, I thought, you know, it also could be a Valentine's even, because February is still snow season in most places and it has hearts and it's red and it's got you know ski paired couple um, things like that and then there's skis here so again very seasonal but I think you know if you're like Colorado and it's Valentine's there's still good snow and this could definitely be a Valentine's blanket I mean hearts and pinks and reds throughout so just my thinking so I'm not sure, I actually did buy it to put in my trailer. I don't need any more blankets in the trailer any more than I need them in the house. That's the truth. But I do like to try new things and this was a different style. 
So I thought I would give it a try. I'm, I'm not sure now what I'm gonna do with it, whether it's gonna stay at home and be a couch blanket or go in the guest bed in the holiday season or, yeah. By the way, I did finally break out one of my Vera bedding sets. I bought out the lilac tapestry quilt and shams and put it on the guest bed so I now have a purple guest room and I'm loving it. And that'll be super fun going forward. Anyway. That's it, and a lot of rambling about thoughts about things. Um, if you're like me and you're hoarding blankets, then you're gonna be nice and cozy warm. And if you're not and you need a blanket, well, now you know some styles that are out there that you can try. Hope you're doing well and your year is off to a great start. See you again soon, bye for now.